I'm Greg Zanis, inventor of DreamCar123.com. Lately, we've been talking about how we're going to send our pyramid buildings to other solar systems. If you remember in the very last video, or a couple of videos ago, we were talking about the three solar system system involving 12 pyramids. Now, we're going to advance one step further but I'd like to point out in this painting, you see the sun, a yellow ring, a gray ring, a gray ring, and a gray ring. This is, the f closer you are to the sun, the brighter your sun rays are going to be at your planet. Now I'd like to show you this painting, painting number four. And of course you can go to our webpage under photos and see these paintings so you can take a little more time and study them, but you'll right away notice all these layers of light going away and away and away from the given star. This particular constellation is commonly known as the Big Dipper, which consists of seven stars. Now, if you note, around every single star, there's an individual solar system. This is, of course, not our solar system, but if it was, you would, of course, have Venus, Mercury, Earth, and Mars but these are uncharted um, stars. We've, we don't know for sure if there's going to be planets on these that are circling around. We, we're assuming there are. But whether there are or not, our individual pyramids are so huge that they can actually start orbiting in their own orbits around the sun. They can either go to a circle other planets, like I said, we don't know if there's any planets out there, and or start circling and circling around. We'll be sending these from Earth out first to Pluto and then out further as we get the buildings built. And once we, once we get one star encompassed, then we're going to take on a second star and start circling four pyramids around that. And then we'll connect them with this mega beam, this life support beam. This beam now will start building towards another star. And the purpose of this beam, of, of course, is to take the, the power from one solar system and to be hitting the pyramid that's going into deep space trying to get to the next star. What it does, of course, and I mentioned before, is it allows it to get light. And of course, not just light, but four times or eight times or 16 times or 32 times the power of one side of one pyramid. It's going to take all that light to get it out to another solar system. Of course, now, every one of these, it may look small in this painting. Here we're adding a fourth solar system. These are light years apart. And once we get the fourth one, then we start, then we build the mega beam again. Where all the light from every one of these four and four and four is eight and eight is 16 pyramids that are floating are helping make this big mega beam. Once we get that built, then we want to start building on to the Big Dipper and start taking on some of the other solar systems. And we'll take on one at a time. We're beaming all this light on. And now instead of 16, we have 20 times the power of each star. And here we'll pick up another, we'll get to 24. And over here we'll get to 28 times the power of each of the uh, solar systems. This mega beam in the next painting that I'm going to show you, we're going to show you how that's going to send a projectile out into deep space. Of course it's not on this painting. But what we're doing is we're going to go to other star systems, we don't have to land on these planets. We're taking everything with us. We're taking hundreds of units that, that grow plants. We're taking hundreds of units to grow animals. We're recycling all of the water. We're taking our own water with us. And we're taking our own seeds. So as you saw in some of the wedges, they, have, they grow several crops. They will grow soybeans and corn and wheat and barley and strawberries. And we're going to take a cache of seeds along with us. We want to take everything with us. You can consider the entire project type of a Noah's Ark type community. Where as Noah took animals along. But we're taking everything that, that the earth has with us. We're taking water. 
we're taking seeds, we're taking everything that you can need to sustain life. And every one of these buildings may never ever find another world. I'm not an advocate saying there is other life out there, but I'm saying that, that all of these stars are out there waiting for us to conquer them. Whether or not we actually land on them, that's not that relevant because we can start building this system. I don't know if, if anybody's ever seen in the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics, they've, you can actually see where they've connected the Big Dipper, excluding these little ones, with this big red light beam. Now, is it possible, again, I ask you this question, that was there life at one form, at one time, that was way more intelligent than us? This, this has got very little to do with friction, with rocket power, this everything to do with light power. Was, was it another type of technology? And if there wasn't, are we the ones that are going to conquer the entire solar systems and all the space and all of the Milky Way? There, there's such a huge frontier. Here, here we're stuck on this little tiny planet called Earth when there's so much more out there. So this is a new day for our lifetime, for, for mankind, for to us to explore another type of of living in other other planets and other systems and it, this is a very far-fetched idea I didn't say it wasn't but I deserve to be heard and I'm proposing in my very next painting and the next video a light speed theory that's that will be able to travel much faster than friction and I'm Greg Zanis inventor of dreamcar123.com